What's good everybody welcome back to my youtube channel so today i'm going to show you guys how to correctly use depth of field while doing a 3d animation inside of after effects so as you can see right there i got an animation going on made with my plugin link in the description and as you can see it looks good because of the of the depth of field let's say that i don't want to add the depth of field no more let's say it looks now it looks a lot less polished and less realistic but a good use of depth of field can really change a simple scene to a really good looking scene so today i'm going to simply explain you the basics of how to use it and how you can switch things up depending on the vision you want to go for in your video so if you select your 3d camera and you click on that little button right there and go ahead and click on camera options you can see all of the depth of field options available to you. So what you're gonna have to do is simply turn it on like that. And now the first setting is simply the focus distance. So the name is pretty self-explanatory. The smaller the amount is, the closer the focus distance will be. So now the focus of the camera is the object that is at a small distance from it. But if I put the number up, as you can see, the focus is on the object that is further from the camera. And also you can keyframe those values. So let's say I want to do a little focus on the guy, then on the woman, then on the guy again. Let's do three keyframes. And on the middle keyframe, I'll just screen the number up like this. And let's say it looks. So as you can see, the, the focus was on the guy first. Then the focus got on the girl then back on the guy so as you can see you can really do some crazy effects with this so keep that in mind and now the aperture is how distorted you want the blur to be so as you can see if i put the value up like this the blur will be more prominent and you can also change the distortion of the blur simply by going in the iris shape and simply playing around with the shapes that you like the most. Now the blur level will just simply give you a better control of the overall blur of the depth of field and you can simply change it to your liking. It's pretty and now all of these iris settings are really up to you and how you want your blur shapes to be formed. So I'm not gonna go in details over there but I'm gonna simply go in detail over the highlight gains. So as you can see the lighter parts of the blur section of the video will simply glow when they're out of focus and this effect right there really makes a huge difference and that's because it can give you that cinematic look that everybody is looking for and personally i just suggest you to always do it you can also change the threshold to adjust the brightness of it don't do too much though because it can really look bad if you do too much so just keep it at a regular number depending on your situation and you got the highlight saturations a lot of, the, a lot of these effects won't really make a big difference but in different type of scenes if you know how to use these different tools according to your to your animation it can really make a big difference and make your animation a lot more cinematic and realistic than it already is and if you guys want to know how i made this animation just go ahead and click on this video right there i'm showing all of my secrets see you guys there